So, we're still working on the skitter. This here, you might recognize, it's the brake housing from the transmission. So it's got these three cylinders here, which all tee together, and from here, go up to the brake pedal. So, this is the working brake for the, the skitter. Now, we took this off the transmission in one piece, but we haven't taken it apart yet. So, we're going to open it up. Um, I just want to make sure I don't need any parts in here. We've got everything else figured out, I think. We're going to order some stuff up and get this going. We're going to start with the snap ring down the groove here. Take this out. See if we can launch it across the shot. That's usually a good thing to do with snap rings. Snap ring. Get the snap ring out. I think we'll be able to pick this up. When this comes out. Now it's got a stamped 59. Looks like there are three little flats on here, which correspond to the three brake cylinders in here. This piece, there's a seal inside here. The surface that rides on looks quite good, so that's a good thing. And. Soak this up, a little bit ATF. Makes sense, it is an automatic transmission. Little ring seal. I don't think that's a U seal, I could be wrong. I'm not sure. So I ordered a seal kit. It's supposed to be for the version with a brake, because this transmission came either with or without brake assembly, depending on what it was being used in. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that seal because it looks good, and I don't know if I'm getting one of my new kit. And from the looks of it, I'd be comfortable reusing that if I need to. If I get a fresh one, I'll change it. But I'm not going to mess with it for now, until we know if we even have a new one. Mostly cleaned up. So these right here. Oh, that shot brake fluid right now. These are our brake cylinders, and they definitely uh, have brake fluid in them. I just pushed this down and shot out the line. Uh, might be a terrible idea, but I'm tempted to put a little air behind it. Facing down with some cardboard so they won't go. Let's see if we can pop those out of there. Sounds like we got at least one of them there. Yep. There's the first one. That smells like old brake fluid. I think to get the other ones. We'll take the lines off, we can pop each one one at a time, which would be good because this line setup's pretty. This line's okay, but this one's wrong. I want to get this straightened out, get this extra fitting out of there, just neaten it up a little bit. So it looks like there's just piston, the dome top. Find it. A little rubber cup seal. And yeah, it just says one and five eighths. That's probably really standard. Got a part number on there. XB74190 USA one and five eighths. So this goes and this has a seal. Which 
looks like probably an O-ring, but pop it out of there and see what we got. Sort of a square profile. I'm not sure if that was round or if that was always kind of squarish. I'm pretty sure an O-ring will work though. We got piston, O-ring on the piston. That's probably to keep the uh, oil from the transmission from getting in. And a cup seal, that's to keep the brake fluid out of the piston. And you got a spring with little rubber ends to it. Actually, I think those are steel. A little return spring. So that's a pretty simple setup. And this all looks pretty good. Um, this stuff all looks like I could reuse it. We'll see if the others are as good. I would like to replace these. I'll see if I can get a kit for them. If not, I think these would work. The problem is if they fail, it puts brake fluid in my transmission, which not very good. So, I'll try to replace those. Let's get these lines off. Like most of the fittings on here, it's a little bit munged up. This is just regular, uh, looks like 3 16 brake tubing. So I'll be able to pretty easily make some new lines for it. I might even be able to use this line and just get rid of this fitting here. I'm not really sure why there's a T in the line. I know the manual said something about a micro brake controller, but that would have been over on the brake pedal side. Of course, I don't have the original brake pedal and I don't have a micro brake on it. So, ooh, that's some gross looking brake fluid. Like this T will thread out. I don't know why I couldn't just put this line straight to this T. Make that a lot cleaner. Let's pop these out. Actually it worked pretty well. I'm glad I had it facing down. So those sound like they hit pretty hard. There they are. Three brake pistons, brake springs, brake seals. And there is the housing. It's got our three bores. They don't look scored up or anything. I think these are good. This one's got some sort of mud junk in it. Pretty sure that's just old cruddy fluid. That's taking this apart. I'll get some new parts and we'll put it all back together. Thanks for watching and if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Please leave comments if you want to see anything in particular. Like it. Whatever you can do. Always appreciate it.